A new Wall Street Journal poll finds that American priorities have helped define a national character for generations such as patriotism, religion, having children, and involvement in the community are receding in importance. Money is the only priority that has grown in importance in the past quarter century. Younger Americans in particular uh, place low importance on these values, many of which were central to the lives of their parents. Only 23% of adults under age of 30 uh, said that having children was very important. You got to see these numbers. Show the ch- show the charts that you have. Take a look at this. Look at this one here, Vinny. Percent who say that these values are very important to them. Patriotism, 1998, 70 percent. That's only 25 years ago. Holy shit. Today, 38 percent. Religion was 62 percent. 39 percent. Who was talking about God? <laughs> Having children was 59% double. 25 years ago, it's 30. People don't want to have kids today. Community involvement went from 47 to 62, down to 27. Money went from 31 to 41 to 43. If you go a little lower, look at these other numbers that it has with religion. Uh, if you keep going lower, there's, there, there's a few other charts. Uh, okay, zoom in on this one here so we can see. So zoom in so we can read what it says at the top as well. Zoom out a little bit, a little bit more. Go a little lower so you can have. There you go. Percent who say these values are very important to them, personally shown amongst the youngest and the oldest age groups. Patriotism, 36%. Having children, age group. Look at the age group. Wow. Religion, hard work. Go to the bottom now. Hard work, the only people that believe in that is what? Above 62 years old. Okay. Go, go lower. There's another chart that they have, I believe, that talks about, you know, uh, 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 read the, the people who say these values are very important to them. Democrats, look at patriotism. Wow. Independence, look at Republicans. 59%. Republicans are more patriot. By 36%, this is Wall Street Journal talking. Religion, Democrats, 27%. Republicans, 2X, having children. 26, 20, 38, community involvement, 32, 23. Democrats have the highest one with that one, community involvement. Money, Democrats and Republicans are tied for money. It's the one area they agree with. But, Tom, not, where, but not where we get it. They yeah. want to be given, yeah. we want to earn it. And Pat, what do you, so what do you, let me, let ask me you read qu- the last go, one, go, go, and go, then go, I, want, go. I want to get your thoughts. Okay. For each of the following, has our society gone too far? To, uh, not gone far enough, or is it about right? Shown by percentage who say too far. Democrats, accepting people who are transgender. Okay, look at that. 60-point spread. <laughs> look at wow. the spread there, Adam. I don't know if you're looking at it. Yeah, it's 15% Dems versus 75% Republicans. Holy Schools and universities taking steps to promote racial and ethnic diversity. 6% to 50 Look at the... Look how wider what? the wings, how much we have divided. Accepting people who are gay, lesbian and bisexual. Seven, 31% is the people that are in the middle, reasonable ones. Look at Democrats and independents. What? Seven, 31, 52. Businesses taking steps to promote racial ethnicity. Seven, 29, 52. Promoting equality between men and women, 2%. But you would think the Republic- Democrats were doing it. That's weird. No, no. It's, it's the opposite of what you're yeah, thinking. Yeah. It's the opposite of what you're thinking. So- when you look at data like this, what do you think about, Tom, when you see this? We're in a divided America, <laughs> number one is what I think. And number two, and I may not win any friends on this, but I got to be part of carrying the mantle because the values that made America great, you know, that built America, still are necessary. We need people that are unapologetically capitalists and entrepreneurs to build the jobs and the tools and industry of tomorrow. We need that. And along the way, we need to be, you know what, you know we need to be neighborly and we need to serve in our communities. And you look at this, someone has to carry the mantle for the things that truly built wonderful communities and companies. Well, Pat, here's my question though, to, to all of you, Tom, uh, and you too, Pat and Adam, what, 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 what made this shift? What from all, what it was like, that was 25 years, Pat, what something's happening, Tom, where all those values, all the community, all the, you know, Doing, being held accountable, it's shifted. I've been, I've. I may have an opinion on this. What do you think? Uh, I, I think we've, you know, you can go back and look at just the last. Look, it was twenty-five year spread, right? Mm-hmm. And just look at the the last sixteen years of uh, presidents, and and see what's happened. 
Uh, we've been, I think, in many ways, it's each person's responsibility for where they are and what they say and what they do. But I, I think we've been led into um, discord and we've been led, you know, by our leadership and the way political campaigns come out. And we've been led into this this great divide. Well, let's go to 98. So who was president in 98? Was it Clinton? Clinton. Okay. Clinton. So Clinton goes to Bush, goes to – go back to the polls again if you can show it. Go back to the polls again. Uh, uh, go back to the polls. Okay, so check this out. Check this out. Seven From 1998 to 2019 is how long? 19 years. 20, uh, yeah. 20, from 19, 2019 to 2023 is the big drop-off. Okay, weird. look at the drop-off uh, here. On that, which sector? If patriotism, patriotism. If you look at patriotism. From 70 to 61, that's 19 years. So meaning – we had a drop off after Clinton, after Bush, after Obama. At 100%, we had a drop off. Okay. But from Trump to Biden, this is the lowest we've ever had. Look at the patriotism on how low it is in America today. Mm -hmm. Religion from 62 to 48, it's a big drop off, 62 to 48 to 39. Go to the next one, having uh, um, children, 59, that's a massive drop off of 16 points. So the credit for that goes to uh, Bush and Obama, 59 to 43, now 30. Mm -hmm. Community involvement, 47 to uh, 62 to 27. May I? Is yes. the 62 2019? 2019. So you lock us all up inside. Yeah. You federally tell us we have to get inside and we can't work and can't help with each other. And this happens. Yep. I'm so surprised. Yeah. yeah weird. So, but, but, but the moral of the story here is these are, these are values and principles of what others think about America, okay? These are basic values and principles of what others think about America. For me, the biggest factor, Tom, if you ask me, is the following. I was at a, a, a church this week, and it's a big church here in Fort Lauderdale, so I was there, and people pulled up, and they, they come and they talk, and we have great conversations together. You know what the biggest thing was? Hmm. How many people would say, Patrick, you're a Christian? I thought you were a Jew. Really? I said, so really? So yeah, I, I, no, this entire time I've been following your content, I thought you were a Jew. I didn't well, know South you. Florida, bet David. Yeah. Might have oh, okay. Like my my cousin's David. last name is yeah. David. Too. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I thought you were a Jew. I said, no, I'm, I'm a Christian. So I'm so happy you come into a church like this, et cetera. So I said, yeah, it's great. I said, you know, one of the biggest things right now that um, I can't, you know, people sit there, oh, let me tell you, this person won because of that. And that person won because of, I don't know why other people won. I can tell you what I won. At 44 years old today, uh, I had a, 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 a something interesting happen to me this weekend. Not good, tough, but something happened this weekend to me. Okay. And it's not a, it's not a big deal. It's not something I want anybody to worry about health or anything like that. But it's something that it was it was annoying. What happened this weekend? And I'm sitting there talking to Jen, and we're talking, we're going back and forth, we're having a great conversation together. And I said, you know. What this makes me realize, I can't understand people who are willing to risk life living without God. Hmm. I, I, I can't understand that life. Because to live a life without God, you think you know it all. I don't think I know it all. To live like with life without God, you think you can do it all on your own. I can't do it all on my own. To live a life without God is saying you have all the answers. I don't have all the answers. I need help in raising of my kids with good people around me as well because I only have a certain amount of hours with them every day. They go to school. Mm -hmm. to, to live a life today without God, man upstairs, prayer, a community you're a part of, if there's ever been a time in our lifetime, at least you know in the last however many years, to risk living life without God, this is by far the worst season to do that. I agree. Take any risk you want to take. Do not take the risk today of living without God, okay? And, and, and by the way, this isn't the debate. We can have the debate conversation, no problem. We can have the uh, 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 debate conversation of Christianity or, you know, Seven Day or LDS or Jew or, you know, Muslim or, you know, Buddha. We can have that debate, no problem, okay? But I'm telling you right now, the debate you don't want to have is living life without believing there is a God, and you end up being wrong, and there isn't, which there is a risk, but the risk of living life saying there's not a God, and then all of a sudden there is, 
and you know you could have had a source to help you through some of the times that you are by yourself, if kids know today, listen, mommy's not going to be there. Daddy's not going to be there. But if you're ever alone, God's there with you. Powerful. What do you think that does to a kid? Help. Think about a kid today that's like, nobody's there with me. And my dad's not here. My mom's not here. But you know what, God? I think you're there because I was told you're there. Whether it's true or not, what is that kid going to go through during that season? Mm -hmm. We all go through certain seasons. We can all look nice and polished today. And Man, think about the season that you were not polished. Well, how, how did you make it through that? What if you did something stupid during that time? We don't know about your story. Many of us could have done something stupid to not be here right now. So what this validates to me when you look at these types of numbers is division, is the lack of love for America. When I talk about how great of a country America, the concepts that it was founded on, I can't tell you how many people say, you know, I can't believe you're saying that and all this other stuff. Man, I'm, I'm a patriot and I'm from Iran and I love what America was founded on. What America was founded on. I love what America was founded on. It changed my life. An average regular guy like me. There's nothing special about me. Trust me. Don't let me fool you. There's nothing special about this guy. Regular guy I was. High school, junior high school. You will never find a report card that you can say, bingo, figure this guy out. He was very smart. He was the captain of the football team. Nothing. Never played organized sports. Never had any kind of... 2.8, 3.0 GP. I don't even know what the, the what is the class you take that's above the other honors, stuff. That, AP. I don't, I've never honors. taken an honors. I've never taken any of that stuff. You know, you talk magnets, stuff like that. We were more repellents more than magnets. We were not the kids that you would sit there and say, these guys are going to do anything. This guy went to the Army thinking my plan was 20 years and I was going to retire six years ago. Nobody would have known me. Mm -hmm. I told Dylan this the other day on, on the importance of God. I said, you realize if God wasn't in my life, you and I would have never met. Wow. I said, can you imagine if you and I never meet? How cool is it that we know each other? God did that. To your son. I told this to Dylan. <laughs> and he looks at he me. He probably said, was like, what? You don't even know what that look to each other was like. And the hug, man. It's like, man, I'm so glad we met. I can't imagine living life without ever meeting Dylan. Man, God is so freaking good to us. Sometimes we got to take a moment. Uh, we got to take a moment and just be grateful and take us back to uh, uh, not solving for perfection, not solving for any of that stuff, solving for why this place has 40 plus million people of immigrants that chose to come here. And our family, our parents, our grandparents didn't say, let's go to Russia, didn't say, let's go to Iran, didn't say, let's go to China, didn't say, let's go to Cuba, didn't say, let's go to Venezuela, but they said, let's go to America. There's a reason for that. And we have to fight for it. We have to sell it. We have to explain it. And we have to encourage others to buy into it. My Tico yesterday finished Atlas Shrug. He finished it on Saturday in six, six days. Six days. It's a thousand sixty nine page book. Somebody commented on the bottom and she said, I can't believe you had the, that's torture for a kid to make him read it. I said, first of all, the kid wasn't required to read it. He, he did chose it by to himself. It. But I said, I said, I said, I if 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 it's up to me, I'm gonna read you exactly what I told this lady. I said, if I have to choose between me brainwashing my kid into thinking for himself or allowing society to brainwash him to think he's a victim, I'm going to do my part. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my part. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.